Yes. Describe it for me. What are you? So, sort of like a creek. Mm -hmm. a creek. It looks really untouched around me. Mm -hmm. Describe this place for me. What does it look like? It's, it's sort of like a jungle. Mm -hmm. But the creek is really shallow. Mm -hmm. And like m moss everywhere. And How does it feel to be in this place? Peaceful and calm and... I feel tranquil. Mm -hmm. Now in this place, when you're looking at this creek, do you feel that you have a body there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet. What do your feet look like? I have dark brown feet. Mm -hmm. How big are these feet? They're... They're not... That big. Mm -hmm. Are they male or female feet? I'm getting male. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your rest of your body. What does it look like? Even though it's so beautiful, I'm sort of wearing like tattered shorts. Mm -hmm. Tattered shorts. Mm -hmm. What else? I don't think I have a shirt on. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? I'm young. I'm a young boy, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And I... Yeah. I'm a young boy. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your features. I may be 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I have short hair, black. I have blue eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm just sort of standing there. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what I'm doing. So acclimate yourself into that body. Feel yourself in that body. And tell me, what emotions are you feeling as you're looking out onto this creek? How do you feel? Like, I know where I am. i just not doing anything. Mm -hmm. You don't need to always be doing just something. Just sort of standing there. Mm -hmm. well, let's find out a little bit about you. Let's see where it is that you actually live. I'd like for you now to close this scene and go to the place where you live. See it in front of you. It's, it's like a little village. Mm -hmm. Describe this village for me. It's um, sort of like dark um, dirt mm -hmm. ground, and it's like little circle huts with like um, like dry leaves as roofs mm -hmm. and like um, tr like trees as the walls, mm -hmm. like cut up. Like, like logs. Mm -hmm. Do you see any people there? Are you by yourself? I sense that there's people inside. Mm -hmm. But I... Uh, I sense that there's somebody inside. Mm -hmm. How do you get inside of this little hut? It's just an open door. It's right. like a, just a square. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to go through this open door. Tell me what you see inside. The more you talk, the more you'll see. I see a table. Mm -hmm. There is a table in the middle. Um, and I, I see someone older cooking. I think it's... I don't think it's my mother, but I think it's sort of... Like an auntie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She has like a 
a white bandana on and she's got a blue shirt and a white apron over a uh, beige long skirt mm -hmm. and she's just like got a sort of pot and she has her back towards me mm -hmm. she's just at the pot and there's a window beside her mm -hmm. what else do you see in this place there's things like bowls and mm -hmm. There's not a lot of stuff in there, mm -hmm. but just like bowls and basic like items. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you live with your auntie? I feel like she takes care of me. Mm -hmm. How do you feel towards her? I just feel like she takes care of me. Mm -hmm. I don't really think much about it. Okay, very good. What's happened to your parents? I don't sense a mother, mm -hmm. but I sense a father. But he's in the he's in the water. Mm -hmm. I see him, I see him setting up a boat or mm -hmm. some nets and mm -hmm. he's very thin, he's thin mm -hmm. and he sort of has the same outfit that I have on, mm -hmm. just like pants, almost like a rope mm -hmm. uh, belt and he's just getting a boat ready. Is your father a fisherman? I think so. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out what it is that you do in that village. I'd like for you to close that scene and see yourself doing something significant in that village. You pass along your days. I see myself just sitting mm -hmm. in, I have like my knee on my chin, my knee on my chin, and I'm I'm sort of just picking at the dirt with mm -hmm. a stick. I'm not even doing anything. How does that make you feel? I feel alone. Mm -hmm. I feel lonely. There's really... It's like there's kids in the distance, but I'm just all by myself. Let's find out what's keeping you from being with the other children. Oh, they have nice clothes on. I don't. Mm -hmm. I look poor. So do you separate yourself or do they separate you from them? I think they, I think both. Mm -hmm. I think both. So do you feel different from the others? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, this is like how I pass my time. I just watch them and almost wish. I just wish mm -hmm. I could be like them, but I'm But I'm not. What do they call you? What's your name? Raul. Mm -hmm. Ralph. Raul. Mm -hmm. When I say the name Raul, does that resonate with you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Raul, let's close that scene and let's go to a scene when you're older. <clears throat> Be there now. I have clothes on now. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm a young man. I'm an adult. Mm -hmm. Where are you? I'm... Looks like I'm in the same village, but I'm... I think I have a... I have a wife, mm -hmm. but she's... She has a... Uh, her hair is wrapped. She's young. She's shorter than I am. Mm -hmm. How do you feel with your wife? I feel happy. I feel... I feel like I'm doing something right. Like I'm... I finally got it together. And... Mm -hmm. Raul, what do you do to pass your time now? How do you 
make a living for your wife? I have a saw and a, I'm sawing. I know I have a saw and some kind of table. Mm -hmm. Some I'm sawing a log. Let's see what you do. Allow yourself to see the completed project. I'm building huts. Mm -hmm. I'm building the huts now. How does that make you feel? And I'm not just building, but I'm... I'm actually like almost like the boss. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm like I'm dressed nice and like I direct people. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed, Rob? I have a I have a blue shirt on, mm -hmm. and it's like almost like a dress shirt. It has like buttons in the front and. Like, I look pretty, I look very different from the workers. I sense a, a white helmet, mm -hmm. but they don't have any helmets, only me. Mm -hmm. They are barely dressed, and but they are working hard. Mm -hmm. I'm pointing, directing. But I feel good about, like, I'm, I'm kind to them, mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. But it seems to me that you're still different, aren't you? I'm, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So being different isn't necessarily bad, is it? No. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close the scene, Raul, and let's move forward to another important day in your life. Something that is impacting you. Mm, the wedding. Mm -hmm. My wife is all white. She's in white. Mm -hmm. She has uh, flowers on her head, white flowers on her head wrap, and she's wearing all white. Mm -hmm. Long sleeves, long dress. Where are you? We're not quite in the village, but we're in almost like that beautiful area where I started, the jungle, mm -hmm. where it's like lush and untouched and we're sort of, we're sort of just standing like at the edge of that creek or, mm -hmm. and it's like sundown sunsetting it's just gorgeous it's we're so happy she's happy mm -hmm. is there anyone with you anyone else besides your wife i do sense people i i sense people and i sense a boat mm -hmm. people in a boat i'm leading her into the boat mm -hmm. where do you take her I think it's almost like we're, like people are throwing petals at us and we're, we're just moving down the creek and people are celebrating and they're throwing petals on us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. So as you're seeing this, what sense do you feel? What emotions? I feel pride and almost overcome with happiness. Mm -hmm. So allow that happiness to soak into every cell of your body. Feel that feeling of accomplishment, of pride. It's like I never thought I would get to this point. Mm -hmm. I just feel so thankful that I got to this point, I just never thought I could get to this mm -hmm. level of happiness. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful. So allow the happiness to soak in and remember what it feels like because you can access this happiness at any time. Mm -hmm. 
Feel the feeling. Feel the pride. Mm. Just being you. Very good. So let's close that scene now and let's move forward to another important scene when you're older now, Raul. Allow yourself to be there now. Where are you? My life is dying. She's so old and small. Where are you? I'm beside her bedside. <laughs> I just love her so much. I don't want to lose her and... I don't want to lose her. I'm... She's... She's really... Thin and... She's looking out the window and... I know she's ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not ready. So let's find out if you make any promises or vows to her before she goes. She just looks at me with so much love and mm -hmm. I just tell her that I love her and I hold her face and she closes her eyes. <sighs> she's, she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> What happens next, Raul? I just feel lo lost. I just uh, not sure what to do now without her. I just sitting there with my head on down on my knee again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So allow that scene to close now, close that scene, and let's move now forward to the last day of your life, Raul. Move forward and tell me where you are. I'm in my bed. Mm -hmm. How I'm, old are you? I'm old. I have people around me. They're looking down at me. How are you feeling? I feel thankful that there are people around. I'm staring at the top of the hut. Mm -hmm. I'm just feel like I like it's like I'm ready and Like I've tied up my loose ends and I'm have nothing mm -hmm. more to do. Very good. So let's take your last breath in that lifetime. Allow your soul to leave that body and tell me what happens. What do you see? It's like the peak of the hut just opens up and it's like I just go up to there's like a white circle like the it's like it opens up mm -hmm. and like it's like i see myself floating up where do you go okay now i'm looking down at the hut i'm just moving up quick I'm moving up. I'm seeing the earth now, and it's like, now the earth's getting smaller. Mm -hmm. And as you're moving up, and you look at that lifetime that you love, just lived, Raul, what was the purpose of that lifetime? I'm getting love. Mm-hmm. 
I just keep getting the word love. Mm -hmm. And what lessons did you learn in that lifetime? That it's it's okay to be different. Mm -hmm. It's that even if you feel different, it's not the end, it's, there's always more, mm -hmm. Th those feelings don't last, mm -hmm. they, you change and you move forward in life and that situation doesn't last forever. Mm -hmm. So as you're moving forward now, you said you saw the earth. It's like so small, it's behind me, I mm -hmm. keep looking back and it's just getting smaller. I'm just in like a, it's like I'm in space but there's a light in front of me. What color is that light? It's white. It's white. Mm -hmm. Tell me more, what happens? I'm sort of being like sucked out of the earth or something, like sucked away. Mm -hmm. I feel like a bit of like, there's like some gold also and mm -hmm. mm, someone like has me by the arm. Let's find out who that is. It's an angel. Mm -hmm. Ask the angel if it has a name. It's Michael. Mm -hmm. He's pulling me. Mm -hmm. We're moving. It's like there's darkness, but he's pulling me into the light. Like he's, it's almost like, not like it's forceful, but it's sort of like a hurry. Because mm -hmm. I think I'm just daydreaming. Mm -hmm. Looking around, he's guiding me into the light. Tell me everything that happens as he guides you. Where do you go? He's pointing into the light. He's, it's like he has a look of almost like concern. Or mm -hmm. <laughs> so then we're... Wait. Now we're in the light and the dark. It's like a little circle. Mm -hmm. It's like it's closing up behind me. Now we're like, we're, we're in it. What does it feel like? Like nothingness? Mm -hmm. Like. Tell me more. Like nothing, but there's almost like a uh, a point of light still. Mm -hmm. It's sort of goldish, whitish. It's sort of, yeah, that's still there, but I'm just sort of floating there. Mm -hmm. How long do you need to float in this place? I just feel like I'm just experiencing it mm -hmm. right now and trying to figure it out or like I'm coming up to a gate. Mm -hmm. That's weird. What does this gate look like? It's like a, a metal gate. Mm -hmm. It, uh, it's opening and I'm I'm in it. I'm supposed to go in, I think. Mm -hmm. There's like a huge crowd of people in there. What do they look like? It's like I don't really see them all, but I can tell that there is a big group. Mm -hmm. It's like I can see the tops of their heads. There's so many. It's like a crowd. Mm -hmm. Do you have any type of body? 
I <clears throat> feel like I'm just eyes or something. Like mm -hmm. I, it's like I'm just seeing. I'm not really a body. Mm -hmm. So what happens inside of this place? <laughs> my my grandfather from this life squeezes out from the crown. He just stepped forward. What happened? Nobody else really looks like people, but he looks like a person. Mm -hmm. He looks like a person. Everybody else sort of just looks like, um, like a, just a vague form of a body, but mm -hmm. can't really tell who they are. But he's come out. What does he do? It's like he was in a hurry to see me or something. Mm -hmm. Does he have a message for you? I'm just so happy to see him. <laughs> He's so happy to see me. He has his hand on my face and... He's still the same personality. Mm -hmm. He's telling me, Emily, like the way he says it's like, does he have a message for you today? He says, be strong. You have to be strong. <sighs> be strong, Emily. Be strong. You're going to be okay. <sighs> Do you have any questions for him? Where were you when I called you? What does he say? He was there. He's, he was there. Mm -hmm. Ask him who else was there with you. Who else was there with me? Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. He's right there. He just came in. Mm -hmm. Who's helping me? Just them. Mm -hmm. My grandpa and Archangel Michael. So let's find out what they did when you called out. What did they tell you? They started giving me the numbers. Mm -hmm. I started to see the numbers. They. It's like they woke me up or they, it was like it was time for me to wake up and I just needed like a push to see, to see the numbers. Mm -hmm. Why did they, what did you choose to have such a dramatic way of being woke? like I needed to be slapped like I just couldn't get out of it like I was so lost and dwelling on negative negativity and I just needed like a real big deal like I needed a real rock bottom basically I needed a real a real bad time before I it's like it was the only way I would be open to it's the only way I would be open to it mm -hmm. 
Otherwise, I was blind to it. But why has <clears throat> why has Emily had so many lifelong struggles? Not just that time. Why so many? I was preparing her. Mm-hmm. What was it preparing her for? This time. Mm-hmm. She needed to be conditioned and to see hard times and be able helps her be able to relate to others and she can use her struggles as wisdom mm -hmm. well it seems like she's had struggles in that other lifetime too yes <clears throat> why did you select that particular lifetime as Raul to show her what was the message in that past life that it's it's okay to be different and it's okay to to be patient and that everybody everybody's time comes when you're deep in that moment of feeling different and lonely that it just helps you appreciate later when you realize that you're different for a good reason. Mm -hmm. Now she's gone through these struggles. Has she gone through them by herself or have her guides been with her? Her guides are with her. Mm -hmm. Who else guides her besides Archangel mm -hmm. Michael? There is a man named Neil. Mm -hmm. Who is Neil? Neil is an, he's an African man. Mm -hmm. he, he has a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. he, He's very relaxed and not really, it's almost like somebody, she would be annoyed with in this. Does he push her buttons? He sort of is too relaxed mm. and she's not relaxed. So what is his role? He's he's like, don't worry, be happy type of attitude. Mm -hmm. Now, does he have anything to do with her getting interrupted each time she's trying to meditate and relax? It's like it's like a signal to her that like she doesn't really need to mm -hmm. like she it's like she's doing that because she thinks it's an important part of the journey and and she puts so much pressure to do it and doesn't she meditate doing her normal work anyway? Yes. Mm -hmm. So who is helping her besides Neil? Anybody else? There's a little girl. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Rose. What does Rose do for her? Rose pushes her, or pulls her, takes her by the hand and It's like she's more, she's more able to follow the lead from a child mm -hmm. than, than an adult. I don't, like she'll gladly go with Rose and 
but she sometimes feels resistance to Neil. Mm. Does Rose bring out the little girl in her? It's like Rose is the the happy and free part of her, like she wishes she could be. Mm -hmm. Very happy. Rose is just cheerful and and she's like fearless. Mm -hmm. So how has Rose been helping Emily in this lifetime? She's been guiding her through her journey. Mm -hmm. She she's been showing herself in some visions, also mm -hmm. running free through a forest, just being free by herself and having no fear. And she's been showing that vision a lot. Mm -hmm. She joins Neil on this a beach where where Emily likes to get sun but it's not really sun it's almost like the white light mm -hmm. it's like God energy yeah mm -hmm. it's like we all three go there and we point our, f it's like it's shining down on our faces and it's so strong and we're all happy and it's just like absorbing into us like a sun rays on a hot day. Like it just feels so good. Mm -hmm. Would it be beneficial for Emily to visit the beach? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, she needs the sun. Mm -hmm. Good. So can I ask for Rose to guide her so that she could spend some time infusing herself with that energy of source. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are there any other guides that are helping her? I see a dog. Mm -hmm. What is this dog's name? Does it have one? I get Ralph. Mm -hmm. What does Ralph do for her? Oh, I can't really. He's just kind of sitting there, mm -hmm. being playful. So does he play with her soul? He plays with Rose. Mm. Rose likes him. He's part of the group. Mm -hmm. Have these souls known each other in different lifetimes? Have they been together before? I feel like they have, but I don't know about Ralph. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why he's... He's there, too. Okay. Are there any messages from these guides that Emily needs to know? Well, Neil is <coughs> just always laughing and telling me, don't worry, and smiling and trying to kind of loosen me up a little like grabs me by the shoulders and loosens me up a little and he really he's really calm he really has like a even just his accent and everything is just very just just chill mm -hmm. good so I maybe he brings me back down to reality once in a while. I feel that. Good, good. <clears throat> now Emily wants to know what are her spiritual gifts in this lifetime? Mm. What did she come here to do? She says she's been doing some Reiki, but isn't quite sure if that's what she's supposed to be doing. She can do Reiki. Mm -hmm. She's able to. She's not that into it, though. Like, she can do it. She's strong, but it's 
Not necessarily her calling. Mm -hmm. What is her superpower? I think it's talking. Mm -hmm. I think it's talking to people. So when people come to the shop, that's where she's doing her magic? Yeah, they love to talk to her. Mm -hmm. They... They love to get her advice and they, once they see her, they never stop coming back. They just love to come to see her. Mm -hmm. And who is she channeling when she's talking with them? Her higher self. Mm -hmm. Good. So how can she... It heightened these gifts of channeling her higher self. She wants to get more clairvoyant. She needs to relax. Mm -hmm. So we need to call Neil in? Yes, Neil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She needs to learn how to let go with Neil a little more. Mm -hmm. So when she relaxes and allows that gift to come through, will she be able to see more? She sees a lot. She just doesn't trust herself. Mm. So what would you recommend that she do in order for her to trust more? She just needs to say it, not second guess what she sees and she feels fear. Mm-hmm. What is she fearing? About being wrong. Mm-hmm. Or upsetting somebody. Mm-hmm. So can I ask on her behalf for one of these guys to help her just release these words? It's like there's another angel coming in. Mm-hmm. I think it's Raphael. Mm-hmm. Let's find out. Let's ask. It's Raphael. Mm -hmm. So, Raphael, assist with this. Raphael, can you please assist with this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, can I ask for Raphael now to begin beaming his beautiful green light into her third eye? Now, let's clearing it out. Clear it out a little bit more while she's doing this session. It's a little... A little muddy. Mm -hmm. What's causing that muddiness? It's doubt. Mm -hmm. What does doubt do to this soul, to this body? It closes off. It closes the... It closes that chakra. Mm -hmm. What does this doubt look like physically? Does it have a shape or a color? It's black. Mm -hmm. It's like swirling around and her brain, her head, or mm -hmm. it's like a. It has like a sort of like a face, but mm -hmm. it's like a almost like um. I don't know, it's like it's happy to be in there. All right, let's find out if that face, if that muddiness, that doubt that's in her head, is it something that she created herself, or is it something that she attracted to her? It's attracted. It's not... Mm -hmm. It's not part of her? No, it's, right. it's really enjoying itself in there. Okay, so would you allow me to speak with this? energy and find out why it's there. Yes. All right, I'm going to put my hand over that area and bring that energy down, down, down. So you can express yourself now. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What is your name, please? Frank. Frank. Frank, how old are you? 64. Mm -hmm. Do you know Emily? No. No? How did you find her? She was small. Mm -hmm. She was little. How old was she when you found her? Oh. A baby? Mm-hmm. 
Frank, what made her vulnerable for you to attach to her? She was alone and she was sick and What else? She It was easy. What was that? She's so open. Mm-hmm. And what have you been doing to her, Frank, all this time? Oh. Um, I'm in her head and neck and I'm... I'm in her head and I'm... I just live in her head and mm -hmm. I travel from her shoulders up and down and... Do you cause her any discomfort? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. What else does she feel? She feels pain in her shoulders and in her. She feels pain in her neck and she feels. She just feels not youthful. Mm -hmm. Frank, how is it that your body died? I see myself coughing. Mm -hmm. Coughing. What was uh, what was making you cough? Emphysema. Mm -hmm. Did you smoke a lot? I think I did. Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. What year is this, Frank? Seventy nine. Nineteen seventy nine. Yeah. Uh huh. So after you died of emphysema, where did you go? I just sort of hung around, I guess. Mm -hmm. Was that when you found baby Emily? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you go home to the light? I just didn't know. Mm -hmm. Well, Frank, now you know that when a body dies, the soul's natural progression is to go home to the light. There you can rest. You can see your loved ones. You can go home, learn new things. And if you choose to come back, you can. Or you can be a guide. Mm. Would you like to feel what it feels like to be home? Yeah. All right. So, Frank, I'd like for you to find within your own soul that spark of light. Mm. This is the Creator's light. Everyone has that spark within them. That's the Creator. I'd like for you to find that light and tell me when you see it. Yes, yeah. All right, now let's make that spark much bigger. Allow that light to take over your entire being. And tell me how that feels, Frank. Oh, I feel lighter. Mm -hmm. Make it even bigger. Make it as big as a star. How does that feel? <sighs> Quite a difference, isn't it, Frank? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, Frank, that you feel this way, what would you like to tell Emily about all these things you've been uh, doing to her all this time? Sorry. Mm -hmm. So, Frank, I'd uh, like for you to go ahead and begin detaching yourself from her body. And, Emily, what would you like to tell Frank? Do you forgive him? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to send him home. Frank, I want you to go ahead and send that beautiful light from within into Emily's body. Fill that space mm. where you were before with that beautiful light. And tell me when you're mm. done. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. Fill that space. Make her feel 
all of that wonderful feeling inside. <sighs> Heal her. Okay. Very good. Now I'd like, Frank, for you to visit that body that was sick with emphysema. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to fill that body with that light. We need you to feel whole once again. Tell me what it feels like. It's like a relief. Mm -hmm. Very good. So Frank, now that you've done such great work today, I want you to go ahead to the top of her head. Archangel Michael is right there waiting for you. Tell me when you see him. I see him. Mm -hmm. He's going to take you by the arm mm -hmm. and take you straight home to the light. Tell me when you get there, Frank. Who's there mm. to welcome you? There's a lady. It's an older lady. Mm -hmm. She's white hair. Who is she? Is that my wife? It's my wife. Very good. Give her a very strong embrace and oh, with a lot of the I universe. Have a body. Always accompany you, Frank. Oh. Middle light always guide you. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. And now I'd like to ask the higher self how does her body look now without this muddiness and cloudiness? Hmm. It's, it's lighter in the back and the neck. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and fill her with that light from source. Yes. Fill all of those spaces where Frank was residing. Mm -hmm. And let's seal mm -hmm. that area. Mm -hmm. Seal all of the crevices where he was enrooted mm -hmm. in. And now that she is clear of this entity, how do you see her being able to use her gifts? He was preventing her from having confidence and, mm -hmm. and almost stealing her joy. Mm -hmm. So she will be able to be more free with with her gifts, she already has. They'll seem stronger, but it will be just that she's seeing clearer now. Very good. And I'd like for you to tell me what's causing all of this energy drive and inability to sleep without any medication. She's sensing energies, or she just she, the energies are, are around her. Or mm -hmm. let's find out what those energies are. Are they friends or foes? Oh, there. It's like somebody's standing over her. Mm -hmm. Like she attracts people like mm -hmm. what is she attracting these spirits for it's like they almost know that they can go to her or something but mm -hmm. she doesn't sense that she senses discomfort and mm -hmm. so she's kind of like the the porch light yeah, they follow her. Mm -hmm. And then they sort of hang around and I think they just realize she can't really tap into them and they kind of just go their own way. Mm -hmm. But why is it that she can't sleep? It seems like the energy is stronger at night. Or... Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens. I'd like for you to take her to one of those very significant nights when she was not able to sleep. I'd like for you to show her kind of like a little video of what was happening, but show it from the spirit side. Let's see what was going on when she could not sleep. Mm -hmm. She knows this, but 
She recently had a really rough, rough time sleeping during her vacation and she sensed a really dark spirit or something bothering her and she kept trying to reason it away and but there was something there was something in that room that almost didn't like her mm -hmm. so what can she do in the future when she walks into a room ready to sleep <sighs> she has free will she has the energy and the power what can she do she needs to stand her ground with her energies and she needs to protect herself or call in her angels and but this one was strong but she called her angels but it didn't fully I don't she needs she needs to put up a boundary mm -hmm. now it seems to me she's attracting bullies into her life yeah they may not be physical but they're non-physical so yes. what advice would you like like to give her about these spiritual bullies how do you treat them is it something to be afraid of it's not it's just that she's getting stronger and they are not happy about it mm -hmm. she needs to learn to protect herself what can she do to protect herself she needs to use sage mm -hmm. well she can't use sage if she's in a hotel room that's a non-smoking room I see. what can she do when she's on vacation for example and she goes to a place where she needs to sleep she I'm getting she can meditate mm -hmm. she needs to use crystals mm -hmm. she needs to use crystals all right any particular type of crystal that would help her black tourmaline mm -hmm. does she need to program this black tourmaline she should mm -hmm. how do you program black tourmaline to help protect your boundaries she needs to put an intention on it that it's there to protect her mm -hmm. while she's sleeping or in order for her to sleep good can you see in the future for her to be able to sleep a lot easier now I think so yeah she very good yeah and what was keeping her from sleeping next to her beloved mm, she senses his energy mm -hmm. his energy is really high vibrational mm -hmm. so what can she do in order to sleep soundly with so much energy she needs to be relaxed mm -hmm. she in order to deal with the energy beside her mm -hmm. she needs to ground herself mm -hmm. because it's strong so what can she use can she use uh, the earth can she mm -hmm. use water what can she use a bath mm -hmm. so if she takes a, a shower or a bath before salt salt bath alone mm -hmm. allow the, the water and the salt to ground her. yes very good does she need to set any intention when she's in the bath she should mm -hmm. what would you recommend she should ask that the bath ground her and cleanse her of energies that are not favorable for mm -hmm. her to sleep or be next to her husband and sometimes she just collects too much mm -hmm. 
So the energy field may be bouncing back to her? Is there a lot yeah. of static there? It's like she's too full of everybody's and everything's energy. She needs a, she needs to cleanse herself before mm -hmm. she goes to bed. Okay. Now she says she also feels other body sensations such as mm. ears ringing, shock, full body shocks, shocks in the solar plexus, the base of the skull, pain. Was the base of the skull pain, Frank? Mm. Yes, but also it's like it's like the energies around her that are trying to it's like they're trying to find a way in or mm -hmm. trying to communicate with her in some way like it's like a they're just like so desperate mm -hmm. but she so all of these sensations are these souls trying to reach her that that's that may be a soul in the neck but the Body shocks are signals. Mm -hmm. She knows this, that there are signals of being in a bad environment, being in a, being around bad people, mm -hmm. or, or just people that are not good for her or. So it's a good thing. It's an alarm. For it's her. an alarm. She can't ignore it. She ignored it. She learned, mm -hmm. she learned what happens. So the shock in the solar plexus, same thing. The shock in the solar plexus is more about people around her that are jealous. Mm -hmm. They try to try to almost take her shine away. Mm -hmm. So what can she do to protect herself from that? She needs to surround herself in a white or gold light before she goes in public places or when before she's interacting with groups of people because mm -hmm. she's open and they and it's like she gets really affected mm -hmm. they affect her more than she realizes mm -hmm. what about the ringing in the ears it's almost the ringing in the ears is is an angel. Mm -hmm. It's like an angel's. So it's just like angels communicating with her. Yeah, and she's noticed this happening more lately, mm -hmm. and noticing it happening more when she asks or wonders about something or needs a verification mm -hmm. she gets a ring <laughs> so it's like a, like a modem she's actually picking up information <sighs> yes okay so there's nothing for her to worry about with the ears right? no okay so let's take a look at the body and see if any of these rascals have found their way in can you do a body scan mm -hmm. and see What does her body look like? Mm, there's a feeling in the guts. It's, mm -hmm. it's circling feeling again, like a... Mm -hmm. So let's bring that feeling up. I'm going to take my hand and bring it up from the gut. As it comes up closer and closer, you'll be able to express yourself. Mm. Good morning. Are you male or female? I'm not any of that. Mm -hmm. What are you? Are you a thought form? I'm like a... I sort of look like an animal. Or an animal. Snake. What kind of animal are you? Snake? Some kind of snake. How are you there with Emily? It feeds me. Mm hmm. It feeds me and. What do you feed her? Her. Her anger feeds me. Mm hmm. Her anchor feeds you? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So you're just a parasite feeding off of her? Mm hmm Yes. Where did you come from? I was put there. Mm hmm Let's find out who put you there. Mm hmm 
But let's go back. I'd like for you to follow <sighs> to see who put you there. Mm. Dad. Mm -hmm. What was the reason Dad put you there? It's like it was just part of him, and he's just going around doing that to people. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? That's his, his purpose. Mm -hmm. All right. So the only person who can retrieve that snake is the one who put him in. So I'm going to count from one to three, and let's talk with Dad. One, two, and three. Frank? No, Dad. Ted, all right, Ted. Ted, why did you put that in there? Because it's funny to me. It's funny. Why did you put that snake inside of her? That's just part of me, and mm -hmm. I, I like, I like to see people suffer. Mm -hmm. Ted, let's find out a little bit about why you like to see people suffer. What is controlling you? Do a scan and see what is controlling you. Oh, he is. It's just dark. Uh-huh. Ted, there is a darkness controlling you. Did you give that darkness permission to control you? No. No. What allowed that darkness to come in? I feel like it was always there. It was always there. Let's find out. Ted, let's go back in time. Find out. When that darkness took over your soul? I was a child. Mm -hmm. What was happening? Oh, I think somebody hurt me. Mm -hmm. Somebody I trusted. Someone you trusted hurt you. And did you allow this darkness to come in? Uh, no, I... I, I couldn't help it. It mm -hmm. was forced. It was pretty big, wasn't it? It's huge. What is this darkness doing to you, Ted? It's controlling my whole body. Mm -hmm. So do you give permission to this darkness to control you? No, but it's, it's so strong. I don't know what else to do. All right. So, Ted, inside of you, there is a spark of light. The spark of light is the light from the Creator. I'd like for you to find that spark. Even though you feel the darkness around it, you always have that light. Find that light, Ted. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to use that light to expand. And let's dissipate mm. that darkness. Go ahead and begin expanding that mm. light. This is your power as a Creator, Ted. Hmm. It's just like an explosion of uh -huh. like flies or particles. Uh huh. Keep making it bigger and bigger, Ted. <sighs> Allow this light to completely encapsulate you. Hmm. Feel that darkness mm -hmm. just leaving. It's it's on the outside now. Uh huh. It's disappearing. It's Very good. So now, Ted, you have sent into this woman a snake. Yeah. Only you can pull that snake out. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and use your power of light to retrieve that snake. Man, it's just really... Trying to hang on, it's... Mm -hmm. Keep pulling it out. It's trying, but it can't... It can't stay in there for... Mm -hmm. So, Ted, do you give permission to Archangel Michael to assist? Yes. All right, so Archangel Michael, I'd like for you to use your blue flame sword mm -hmm. to go ahead and pierce the snake with your light. Mm -hmm. And when you do, the snake... Oh, oh. it's struggling. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. It's like, it's like it's wriggling around like... Mm -hmm. And it's dying, it's dying. Mm -hmm. 
Don't leave anything in. Keep pulling that snake out. Oh, it just, just pour it out. Mm -hmm. Now, Ted, I'd like for you to look around the room and see if there are any other entities, any darkness that's trying to get in to Emily or into the room to anybody else. I see something on her left shoulder. Mm -hmm. It stands behind her left shoulder. Mm -hmm. Did you have anything to do with that influence, Ted? No. Mm -hmm. Would you like to assist her at this time? Yes. Mm -hmm. So call forth that darkness and let's find out why it's there. It's like it's just watching her progress or something. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to do with that darkness? Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't want her to be happy. Mm -hmm. So what is this darkness doing to her? It's holding her back. It's 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 holding her back. It's mm -hmm. now since you sent it there, only you can command it. Mm -hmm. So you can remind this darkness that it also has this light within. Because everything was created, light and dark came from the light. The light is simply mm -hmm. casting the shadow. Mm, it's not happy. Mm -hmm. It's dissipating. Mm -hmm. Keep shining mm -hmm. your light on it. Mm. It sees its own light. It's mm -hmm. own light is taking it over and very good. Now, Ted, that you've done a magnificent job here assisting Emily. What would you like to tell her now about everything that happened? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's I've been with you for this long and. It wasn't my intention to be there this long. Would you like for her to forgive you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to count from one to three mm -hmm. and tap you on your forehead and allow Emily to speak one, two, and three. Emily, what would you like to say to Ted? Do you forgive him now knowing that he had an influence? It was hard, but yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I, I do. I want. I want you to be happy too. And Very good. So I'd like for you now to disconnect any energy that binds both of you together. I'd like for you to look and see mm. where he is connected to you. There's a cord. Mm -hmm. Where is that cord? In my stomach. Very good. So go ahead and pull that cord out mm. and pull it from his end also. Don't allow any roots to remain mm. inside. And go ahead and give that cord to Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's take a deep breath and allow Ted to go on his own, on his way. <sighs> Very good. So I'd like the higher self to go ahead and continue scanning the body and see if there's anything else that is holding her back from her purpose. She lacks a little bit of energy. Mm -hmm. She knows about her thyroid, but it's not really the thyroid. It's mm -hmm. the energy shift. She's she's supposed to be resting more. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't feel guilty for that. So she should be taking more naps when she feels like taking naps? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Instead of... Instead of worrying about the night and... She needs to just... 
take opportunities to rest, she really needs to stop feeling like she has to do something all the time and she compares herself to people who are always doing things and she doesn't allow herself to rest. Mm -hmm. So your prescription for her today is more naps, more rest? More naps. More, more doing nothing? More doing nothing, like mm -hmm. nothing, like sitting. And even if she's not sleeping, she just needs to rest. She needs to lay. She needs, she almost needs to like gather her own self, her thoughts, her, she doesn't have a lot of opportunities to be in touch with herself. Mm -hmm. She's stretched in many directions and that is necessary now, mm -hmm. but it's been very unbalanced. She needs balance. Mm -hmm. She needs, if she doesn't have balance, she will burn out. And then when she burns out, she, she lets herself slip. Mm -hmm. So can I request for her guides to remind her? Yes. That she creates her own reality and she can create time yes. to do nothing and gather she the thoughts. She has time. Perhaps watch the clouds go by. She does have time. She just chooses to use it for others instead of herself. Okay, good. So now she understands. Yes. And she says she has issues with the thyroid. Why is it that she has that? It's like necessary. Mm -hmm. What is a thyroid? It seems so many people have thyroid issues right now. Are our bodies changing or are our thyroids trying to tell us something? Mm, yes. What is Some. the... What is the issue with the thyroid? Some need to lighten themselves mm -hmm. for their growth and others need to put on more weight for their growth. Mm. Some need the weight. Others do not need the weight. Mm -hmm. She She has noticed that she does not need the weight. She's worried about not having weight, but she shouldn't worry about that. Mm -hmm. It's not a concern. Well, she has a really intense fixation on improving her health and well-being, mm -hmm. eating healthy, researching on supplements, diets, avoiding gluten, what is it that she needs to focus on? She cannot tolerate the gluten. Mm -hmm. It prevents her spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. it, it blocks her visions. It blocks, it blocks her mentally. Mm -hmm. it, it's resisting the spiritual growth. It adds weight. It's not conducive with her spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. So since she cannot eat gluten, what should she be eating instead? What should she be adding to her diet? She needs more green mm -hmm. food, more leafy food. Mm -hmm. There's certain types of leafy things she cannot tolerate, mm -hmm. but she can do her greens in a drink, mm -hmm. in a, a smoothie? shake. Mm -hmm. She can. She needs the greens. She needs to incorporate that in some way. She doesn't like salad. She doesn't like to eat and chew a lot. She likes simple, fast convenient. Mm -hmm. So more smoothies. Yes. Okay. Yes. With green stuff in it. Green, more, sh 
she's okay to drink a lot of her nutrition. Mm-hmm. Okay. She doesn't need to be chewing. She doesn't really need to be chewing and having big meals. And she can't have red meat either. She shouldn't have red meat. It's mm-hmm. too heavy. Okay. It's too heavy. What about supplements? Is she okay with that? <sighs> yes, she... She's guided to the supplement she needs at different points of okay. time. So is she, if she's fixated on a certain supplement, it's because she it's, needs it. her body is telling her. Good. How are her chakras doing? She mm. wants them balanced and open. They are open. They, she thought she had... Um, the issues in her sacral chakra are gone now. There. Mm. That was that was dead. That was a snake. And more. The issues in her third eye are, that was dealt with. Mm-hmm. They're open. Her chakras are open. Okay. Sometimes they're too open. What about her aura? Is it sealed, mm. or is she allowing, or does she have a Swiss cheese for her aura? She had a sensation for quite a, some time that there was a hole in the left side of her aura. And mm-hmm. That was also dead. Mm-hmm. That so is now, gone now. Good, good. Why has Emily been so hard on herself, feeling so unworthy? Part of it was. Part of it was Frank. Mm-hmm. But part of it is. Part of it was her childhood. Mm-hmm. Her parents were very hard on her, and she's never been able to shake that, I think, and I think... All right, so I'd like for you now to take her back in time Mm. to show her when she chose those parents. Let's take her back Mm. now. Show her a picture of her meeting with her guides and counsel when she was choosing her parents. What's that? She's being encouraged to choose those parents. For what purpose? There was a lot to learn in this life. And She was reluctant, but it was necessary to have that because she can see that there was going to be a time where those lessons were necessary and it did help her at times, but but it's not helping her anymore. And they were necessary for her growth. Mm-hmm. So does she need to hold on to that resentment anymore? No, and she's been working. Mm-hmm. Would you allow me to remove all of that resentment and anger inside of her? Yes. All right, I'm going to put my hand over your chest, and I want you to go ahead and release all of those feelings of not being fair, of being set aside, kind of abandoned, Mm -hmm. neglected. Mm -hmm. Feel all those feelings Mm -hmm. of shame, of not being good enough. She sees them now. Mm -hmm. Pull them all out. You don't need to hold on to these negative feelings. Give them all to me. Tell me when I have them all. Yes. All right, let's take it all out and let's give it to the universe for healing. And now let's fill that space mm. with something positive, something that will reinforce all of those lessons that you learned from childhood. Mm. Let's fill them with something positive. What would you like to fill that space with? 
unconditional love. Oh, let's put a fire hose of unconditional love there, knowing that love is just love. And when you love, there are no conditions to it. There's no rules. It's just a connection with Source. Feel it all your body, your soul, your mind with this unconditional love. And I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that in. Very good. So now that she understands that she chose this family for this lesson, why did she choose those in her life now? She's here to heal them. Mm -hmm. Especially now. She... She now can see them as having needed to be healed. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to tell Emily or show her her origins. Where is she from that she brings all of these abilities? Where is her real family? Blue. It's a blue place. They are blue too. They, mm -hmm. are, they have their hand up to me. They, they I get Pleiades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see them. Mm -hmm. And what did she choose to do for Gaia? <sighs> Struggle. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? So that she could heal others. Mm -hmm. So she had to walk in their shoes? <coughs> she had to... experience struggle mm -hmm. so that she could open her empathy. She needed to gain empathy because she didn't, she was not raised with much empathy. Mm -hmm. She needed to learn that herself. Has she succeeded in that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Does her star family have anything to say to her today? Mm. They're proud of her. They're holding her by the face and proud of her and they want her to know that she's doing good. She's even when she thinks she's not doing good, she's doing good. She's doing good. Mm -hmm. She's doing what she's supposed to do. She's... And what is it that she came to Earth to do? What was her purpose? She's here to trust herself, her intuition, her knowings. She's here to share those with others. She's... She's like a... Um, She's like a seed. Mm -hmm. She helps others grow. She she takes on the burdens so that others can grow. Mm. Does she need to hold on to these burdens herself? No, she needs to let them go. She needs to let them go because she'll understand now that she shoulders the burden it can, it only needs to be temporary just to help that person grow or mm -hmm. to encourage growth. Very good. So let's completely encapsulate her body, mind, and soul in the same thing that perhaps ducks have when they stand out in the rain mm. so that they can handle the strong rains and the winds and the water rolls right off. Mm -hmm. She needs us. So just completely encapsulate mm -hmm. her in this very, very slippery 
substance mm -hmm. so that she can see herself in a storm, <sighs> in others' problems, just completely having all of these things slide right off of her. This is what Neil is here for. Mm -hmm. Very good. Neil is trying to help her with this. Her husband is trying to help her with this. She... Like with Neil. Mm -hmm. What is the role of her husband in this lifetime? He's much like Neil. He's... It's hard for her. She, he's much like Neil, so it can be hard for her, but... He is here to teach her to be more lighthearted. Mm -hmm. Is he a twin flame or a soulmate? He's an aspect of her. Ah. So she recognized him. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's an aspect of her she wishes she could be more in touch with, and she sees it more like it's on the outside of her, mm -hmm. because it's, it's him, and it's not her inside her body, but she needs to understand that. Sean is an aspect of her that exists in her, too. Mm -hmm. So how can she live with this aspect of her and make it even better? She needs to allow it mm -hmm. instead of resisting with all of these childhood programs that She's been letting get in the way. It's like she knows she often sounds like her dad and and it blocks her. She has she carries those same fears that she was taught, but she doesn't really feel those fears. She's just in a bad habit. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's break that habit today. Yes. We don't need to continue that program anymore. No. And we know that Emily is like a program. And let's take all of those files, those programs that have made her fear, made her doubt herself, all of those programs that contain the recordings mm. from her father, berating her, mm. putting doubt in her, and let's go ahead and put that in the recycle bin mm -hmm. and allow that recycle bin now to be deleted. Yes. Very good. Very good. Now she asks about her children. They struggle with fears of mice, red <sighs> eyes, aliens. Are these entities that are in the home attached to them or something else? What's going on there? Do they, do they have their porch light on too? Yes. Mm -hmm. So how can Emily assist her children now knowing that they also attract all of these, I guess, friends and, that come through? Her son is aware. He mm -hmm. He's aware of that he has gifts. Mm -hmm. He's just not super aware that he needs to protect himself, so she can help him with that. And okay. He is often fearful, so she struggles with this. So should she just educate him more? Is she ready for that? Yes, she... She can... She can teach him how to surround himself in the white light. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I have clients who actually do the white light meditation for their children before they sleep. Is this a good, a good thing to do, to teach him how to do that before he sleeps? Yes, she should teach him. He's... He may resist now, mm -hmm. but he will... He will, in time, understand that it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Good. 
And now that Emily has gone through this technique of clearing the space mm. of these dark energies, how can she help clear her space when she gets home? She needs to envision her house in a white light and she can sage, but she can also envision mm -hmm. her house in a white bubble and she needs to protect her property. Good. Will the black tourmaline also help if she were to have some around? Yes, she needs that on her perimeter of her property. Good. Very good. Now she says that um, with the boys, she, they have struggles. How can she better assist them in this lifetime? She needs to work on herself mm -hmm. because their energy is their energy is very difficult for her because they are so evolved. They mm -hmm. they are so loving and they're just so. They are unconditional and she often feels unworthy. Mm -hmm. She needs to work on realizing that she's worthy of these children and that they are here to teach her too and she needs to accept that they are here to teach her lessons also and that they, they will find their way. They, they struggle now, but she, she knows now that struggle is not forever. Good. Can I ask for Neil and Rose and Ralph to assist? Yes. And of course, Archangel Michael and Raphael. Mm -hmm. Michael you. is always around. Mm -hmm. What about her daughter? Mm. Why has she chosen Emily? As she her is part of her. Mm -hmm. She is so much like her. She's a reflection of her. She is here to reflect. Mm -hmm. So what can she learn from her daughter? Her daughter, she knows her daughter is teaching her to be less angry at times and her daughter's teaching her much patience and mm -hmm. well Emily says it's very difficult for her to maintain a high vibration is this one of the things her daughter is teaching her her daughter being next to her raises her vibration mm -hmm. when she sleeps next to her daughter she uh -huh. can sleep much easier mm -hmm. when her daughter is near her it helps her vibration it helps her it helps her feel grounded her daughter may seem ungrounded but she's not mm -hmm. her daughter is she asked for her daughter mm -hmm. she got her she she asked for this. She asked for her. Mm -hmm. So she's the one that's helping her raise her vibration and teach her how to mm -hmm. raise it. Yeah. She's changed her quite a bit since she was born. Good. Just hang out with her daughter to keep her vibration high. Yes. Mm -hmm. How can she do it when her daughter is not around? She needs to focus on rest. Okay, good. So when she's rested a little bit more, she'll be able to raise her vibration easier. And food. Okay, good. Now, when she was younger, she had a lot of uh, out-of-body experiences, intense dreams, mm. precog dreams, astral projection. Why has she lost that? It's like she wasn't fully in her body as a child. Mm -hmm. She. It's like her soul needed to be free. It was mm -hmm. so suppressed. It was so mm -hmm. oppressive. It was so suppressed. She couldn't ever have fun. She, 
That was the only way she could have fun. Okay, good. So she doesn't need that anymore. She can have fun now. Yeah, she has more fun now. She, She's curious about it, but it's... It's not necessary now. That was necessary at the time. Mm -hmm. She has precognitive dreams now still, but that's a, that's her gift. She she has a knowing that she gets it from her father. She has a knowing that is so strong and it translates it translates through dreams and Sometimes she even says things she doesn't realize. Mm -hmm. It just pops out and she she just has a knowing and that that's the knowing. Good. Good. Now talking about knowing, <sighs> what is the knowing that she has about her liver disorder, her IBS, the PCOS? That was Ted. That was Ted. So all of this was because of that. The liver is to slow her down. Mm -hmm. The liver is slow so that she... She's... It's to teach her not to do things at excess. Okay. Do we need to clean out the liver today? Yes. All right. So what would we like to use today to clean out that liver? We need a vacuum. All right. So go ahead and let's get a powerful vacuum. Make sure that hose is connected right up to the universe. And let's begin cleaning out that filter. Mm. Tell me what's happening. What does it look like? It's like many rocks mm -hmm. that have accumulated and a lot of just little black rocks of just like t little it's like toxins that are all balled up in there and mm -hmm. they just need to be removed. It's just, there's too many there now. She, before she knew that she was sensitive, she overindulged a lot. Mm -hmm. That's just uh, overindulging. All right. So allow that liver to be fully cleaned and let me know when it's done. Yes, it's done. It's Very done. good. Yeah. Now, what about the cysts in her ovaries? That is done already. All that right. is already healed. And the IBS, was that the snake? That was the snake. Very good. And we've already talked about the thyroid. Good. Yes. So what is her role now in the new earth? <sighs> She's doing it. She's already doing it. Does she need to prepare for anything? She doesn't really need to prepare. Okay. Her, her life and her family, they're preparing her and she's preparing them. Okay. Just by them being them and just by her being her and just her following her path now is mm -hmm. She's bringing a lot with her, a lot, a lot of others with her, even though she doesn't realize. She does have people that she has brought with her as, as well. Mm -hmm. And her family are those as well. Will she be moving to the New Earth? She will in time. She has some work to do, but she... She needs to continue on this path a little longer and she needs to use her gifts and she needs to use her gifts and one day she will, she'll just be there. Okay, good. So there's nothing for her really to do except it's not, just to be. Yeah, it's not, it's not a big... It's not going to be like, it's just going to be so, such a subtle transition that, mm -hmm. but she'll know, she'll know she's been there. She's, cause she's had a days where she wakes up and things look different. They look bright. They, things look brighter and 
people are nicer and mm -hmm. she feels healthy and happy and it's like she's been given little glimpses of what it could be mm -hmm. if she stays the course wonderful wonderful now is there anything else that I could have asked her today that I didn't and you would like to tell her that she needs to leave the past in the past and leave the future for the future and enjoy now and not distract herself from now hoping for the future she's missing now so live in the now live in the now good anything else or are we complete we are complete very good thank you very much wide awake now wide awake feeling wonderful all over welcome back wow mm-hmm Whew, I can barely feel my body. <laughs> wow. How long do you think you were uh, on this journey? Maybe an hour. Mm, an hour and 48 minutes right now. Wow. Wow. You got a lot done. What do you remember? I feel like I remember it all, but I think it's kind of like going away real quick. <laughs> Kind of like you wake up from a dream. Yeah, that's the same. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember the beginning part mm -hmm. when I was a little boy. Interesting, huh? That lifetime. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was so interesting. And then became... That's like a theme. Uh-huh. That's why you were shown that. Yeah. Maybe this time... You make your life what you make of it. Yeah. Everybody's wow. different. Interesting, huh? That was very interesting. How does your belly feel? Like nothing. Like I feel nothing. <laughs> For the first time in a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't feel much. Feel? Really woozy and... Mm -hmm. But... Kelly. Lighter. Like it's just... It's such a different feeling now. It's such a different feeling. I feel... Oh my gosh, I don't know. It's like my head opened and shut. I don't know. Like let out some pressure or something. I don't know. Pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah. Wow. I, my whole body is sweating. Mm -hmm. I'm like completely... Yeah, that's what happens. Wow. It's a big release, isn't it? It is. And it's not like it's sweating because it's hot because it's freezing in this room for me. Yeah, but I feel like yeah, there is just some working. energy, a lot like, of energy coursing through. through me right now. Mm-hmm. Wow, that was amazing. That was amazing. Just like hearing my higher self speak was mm -hmm. like really profound. Like mm -hmm. it's like I kind of knew some of it, but I could never articulate it. Yeah. So that was really awesome. That and was you're really from cool. The Pleiades? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Blue people? Blue people. Blue people. Yeah, that was so... Mm -hmm. Interesting, huh? Interesting. There was... And they were happy, and they had their hand up to me, like... Yeah, they... That... I was here to struggle. Mm. Makes sense, doesn't it? It does. It's like they how, sent me here how to... Would you, how would you know to help other people if you haven't struggled yourself? That's right. That's right. It's like that's what and I, like I needed to go through. Camp. Yeah, struggle boot camp. <laughs> yes, definitely. Wild, huh? So is this something you want to keep private? Or you want to share? It? Um, I would definitely share it. Mm -hmm. Well, we did it. We did it. So tell everybody how it felt. It felt like the most relaxing, <laughs> powerful yeah. energy and experience and just free it just felt free i thought it was going to be like almost like work mm. or like so what did this feel like to be in hypnosis it was very natural mm. it was very natural mm -hmm. it's sort of like a deep meditation but very deep were you aware of where you were 
oh yeah, like I was aware I could hear sounds and Mm -hmm. and all of that, but it didn't even affect me whatsoever. And that was very surprising for me because normally I'm very, everything bothers you. Yeah. I hear every little sound. so. So is this something you would recommend? I recommend everyone to do this. I think if, if people can come in to see you, they Mm -hmm. should like definitely. And it was worth the wait to come and see you. So how far did you travel? Alberta, Canada. That's far. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Uh And, uh, it was, it was definitely worth the wait. Definitely worth coming this far. How do you think this is going to change you? I'm, I think it'll give me more confidence now Mm -hmm. because I know that it's in there already. It was just, you just need to let it out. Yeah. I just needed to. And you have some pretty cool guides. I do. Neil. I, and Rose and Ralph. (laughs) I met Neil before, but I doubted Neil. Yeah. I was like, you know, I very chill. He is so chill. (laughs) He is so the opposite of my, that's why he's there. That's what he, he wants to do is have you just relax, you know, chill. Yeah. And he's just there trying to loosen me up and Mm -hmm. yeah. Trying to tell me to just chill out and you did great. Fantastic. If you would like to have a session with me, go to albawyman.com, go to my out of town page, sign up for my newsletter and it comes out about once a month. And if I have any sessions available, there'll be links. Just click on that and you'll be able to get a session on your own. How long did you wait for yours? I booked it last summer. So it was a while, but it was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. I would wait another year for another one. <laughs> so if you would like a session, sign up and I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. And, uh, I hope you like this video. It was great. Give me that hug. Thank you. 